everyone. Today's video is about impatience care and reporting. Impatience is um, this one. This this is Guinea, um, New Guinea impatience, and it has got lovely flowers and their vibrancy is so beautiful. They've got so many range of different colors. So this is in pink, um, and this one is also impatience, but this is not New Guinea. So this has different uh, foliage to this one but the flower is quite smaller than the new guinea easy to grow um, for the for the beginners and also they um, they some of them are perennial which is like all way all the year round you'll see the flowers but these ones specifically are annual ones uh, from mid fall to the um, later spring they bloom all all the season so I'm going to report these two um, uh, different pots from the nursery. I've got them from the nursery and they are staying in the nursery pot. So they have, as you can see, they have outgrown the root. So once you see the roots are coming out of the pot, that means it needs reporting. So what I am doing here is um, planting these two in this particular big planter. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So this is the root system for the plant. Look how densely um, it has grown. And they look healthy because they are white. And let's take this one out. I like to touch the soil as I'm doing without the gloves. So um, I can feel the soil and also recently there's a research. Um, UK scientists have done a research on this one. Um, that the soil has the beneficial bacteria which is good for the brains which is acting similar to antidepressants so that's the thing impatients uh, don't like to be in the soggy soil so the soil needs to be well draining um, here I'm using the garden soil so you can use any well draining soil which has um, a perlite or cocoa peat mixture in it so Okay, now I am done with reporting. As you can see, it's completely full. It's okay for the um, for two plants in this planter because this is a big planter and the root system is not quite um, deeply rooted. So it's okay for this one. Also, the needs are similar. So I kind of um, uh, handle just two plants in one go. Coming to the lighting, they they prefer to be in part shade and part sun. So uh, ideally, morning uh, morning sun would be good and afternoon shade would be good for them. So eastern exposure would be beneficial. Um, also, when the temperatures drop down below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, then it needs to come indoors if they are in the containers. So they can't tolerate tro uh, frost. But to be uh, watered when the soil uh, when the soil begins to dry. They like to be in consistently moist soil. So um, if you overwater them, they are prone to diseases and uh, the roots easily rot. So it's better to um, water them as soon as you see the, the leaves are wilted. If you see the leaves are wilted, then if you water them immediately, they revive um, quite quickly. Overhead watering is definitely a no for this plant. If you do, um, then early in the morning, um, uh, if you do overhead watering, that's fine because even though the leaves and the flowers hold water on the top in the in the day, they kind of um, evaporate. So uh, it's better, uh, ideally, it's better to water it by the um, you know towards the soil. So all the root system is soaked in water and they have enough water. Pinch the tips off after they finish blooming, then um, you have like. Um, kind of new growth from it as you can see here or dried leaves they fall off uh, on their own even the flowers fall off on their own so when you when you see some debris in the soil just clean it off and also keep the area weeded um, as it's a competition for the water when it comes to fertilizing uh, impatients are heavy feeders so feed them water-soluble fertilizers once a week and cut back down uh, in winter time 
uh, when the soil appears to be dry, thorough, water them thoroughly before feeding, before the fertilizer. Because um, uh, when you when the when the soil is dry and if you fertilize them, they will be prone to root burn and then that will damage the plant. And all in all, they are wonderful plants to have for when you are looking for the garden beds or raised beds or filling your garden in general in the gaps uh, and also for the containers for the ha hanging baskets so th that's all I can say about impatience and hope you like my video uh, if you do please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye